What's going on boxing fans? This is Quest X coming to you with another video. This is going to be a response video to the many educated and very well put together boxing channels um, here in the YTBC. Uh, and speaking to a question about is Triple G a manufactured champion? Um, I think this is a question that is it's multi-layered and it needs to be addressed in three stages. The first stage is we talk about talent and ability in the ring. Triple G has excellent talent and ability in the ring. The guy has excellent footwork. I think his footwork goes a little bit unnoticed. He can cut the ring off. Extremely effective. Um, he has a really educated jab. Really educated jab. I think his jab goes unnoticed. He uses his jab to get in very, very, uh, like a surgeon on a lot of his opponents. And the guy's a big, sturdy guy. He he has a he rehydrates when he comes into the ring. The guy comes in pretty freaking big. Uh, now again, but he's fighting in a weight class he should be fighting in. So I'm not going to even get on Gennady Golovkin on that. I mean, I just think that the guy straight up and down has such a good boxing pedigree that you can't even knock him for that. Then we're going to go to another layer: the competition he's fought. I feel like. If you're going to go into the realm of asking the question, is he manufactured? He's manufactured because of the situa the current climate in boxing today. And by that I mean the fighters who should be fighting him don't want to fight him. Okay? But here's the, here's the problem. When you, ask, when you say that statement, you then have to say it's a two-part statement. Because the fighters that should be fighting him are ducking him. Right? But, on the same other side of that token, the fighters that are in his division who want to fight him, Triple G is also ducking them. So, here's where it gets murky. And follow me here. You got guys like Chris Eubank over in the UK calling Gennady Golovkin out. You got guys here, Eris Lonnie Lauren, who... Ah, Eris Londi Laura. Sorry about that. Excuse me. I keep butchering this dude's name. Okay, I'm just going to start saying Laura for fucking Christ's sake from now on. But Laura calling him out. Okay? There are fighters who want the chance to fight him. You got J Rock, who's been on record saying, I want him. There are fighters out there who want him. The problem is, is that with K2 Promotions and Tom Loeffler, they have so mismanaged Gennady Golovkin's career thus far that this is why this shadow is coming over Triple G. The question is, can his management team get their heads out of their asses and say, you know what? The time has come. We put him in there with legitimate challenges because he's not been in the ring with legitimate challenges. And you want to know about the ineptitude of K2 and Tom Loeffler? Go back and look at Gennady Golovkin's first pay-per-view fight. David fucking Lemieux. There are two types of boxing fans. We know here in the YTBC what they're called. It's the casuals and the diehards. Okay? Go pre-Triple G Lemieux pay-per-view. Go, go back. I just want you to go back two years. Look on here on YouTube in the YTBC. You'll, you'll see a lot of uh, highlights for David Lemieux. You'll see a lot of highlights uh, of his knockouts. Go into the comment section and spot how many casuals are in the comment section. Now, when I say that, now I have to go into the, the, the description of a casual. A casual is somebody who when he watches a fight, he or she watches a fight, and if it appeals to his, that adrenaline, that, oh my god, I'm so excited to see the fight, they tend to glom on to whatever is in the spotlight, right? Whatever's highlighted. And they ignore, and it's not, maybe not necessarily that they ignore it, it's because it, maybe they're not as in-depth fans of boxing the way we are, so they don't really break down 
a fighter's footwork, if a fighter's using feints properly, if a fighter is utilizing his energy and his space the right way. They're not looking at it the way we look at fights. And see, this is where it ties into how promotions for fights go. David Lemieux had no damn business being in the ring with Gennady Golovkin. None. None whatsoever. I challenge anybody in the comment section can come at me with an educated breakdown as why they felt David Lemieux was going to defeat Gennady Golovkin. Give me something to work with when it comes to legitimizing David Lemieux as a fighter up at, to that point to fighting Gennady Golovkin. I want you to list the last two fighters that he fought prior to fighting Golovkin and tell me if those were world beaters. And one of them is my dog, Gabe Rosado, tough Philly, Philly fighter. But here's the thing. This is how promoting fighters works. You got your prize horse, right? And you want to get you want to promote him. So what you do is you get a little race. You get a little not a not a not a big one. You don't not something that you put all your money into, but you you pay a substantial amount. But what you do is you vet the competition you're going to have against your prize horse. You don't want to get somebody too way off or too close to your horse's ability. You want to get somebody right down the middle. I'm sorry. A Gabe Rosado fight should not have catapulted David Lemieux into a pay-per-view fight for Triple G. This goes back to the mismanagement of K2 Promotions and Tom Loeffler. This goes back to when you are asking the question, is he a, man, is he a manufactured fighter and champion? You got to say yes in that regard. Then the last problem is, and this is, remember I said it's multi-layered. It's Triple G himself. How he has conducted himself outside the ring. Triple G is turning into Amir Khan. His fans have pretty much followed the exact blueprint of the Khan army. Your fo Gennady Golovkin is following and stalking Canelo Alvarez. And it's not even in an entertaining fashion. See, I could see if, if he did it in the Shannon Briggs way. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know Canelo's like, you know, cooking food in a, and then he opens the refrigerator and then fucking Triple G is saying, Hey, nah, nah, Canelo, nah, I'll make you a good boy. No, like, I mean, that shit would be hilarious. But he's not even doing that. He's not even... It's not even entertaining when Triple G is, is so-called challenging Canelo. It's, it's actually starting to verge on the same shit that Amir Khan would, was, was doing. And Amir Khan um, straight up became a hoe for Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy. They straight hold his ass out. And you know what's going to happen? Triple G is getting ready to get hold out. But this is because Triple G is mismanaging his own self as well. You got guys like Chris Eubank in the UK. You got guys like Laura here sitting up there calling you out. And part of being a champion, part of being a guy who wants this, to have this aura of fear and invincibility, you take on all comers. You take on all comers. And you know what? It's starting to get to that point where, just like Arislan De Lara is, he's, Arislan De Lara is starting to become what Kel Brook was to Amir Khan. You know he out there. You know you need to fight him. And what did Khan do to Brook? What's going to end up happening in the Triple G? The exact same thing. Because you know what? Father time, you cannot beat father time. Unless, and again, I'm not sitting up there saying Triple G is doing anything. 
But more and more, we, we, are, we are seeing that the, the cheaters are getting caught. You gotta, if, message to Gennady Golovkin. I don't know, what's your contract looks like with Tom Loeffler? And if anybody knows what kind of contract he has set up with K2, what the length is, what the fight length is, how many fights does he owe K2, or whatever. Get the fuck away from K2 promotions. Tom Loeffler is like that crusty landlord who keeps yesing you to death, making promises, but the motherfucker never delivers. I'm telling you now. Gennady Golovkin, bro, get the fuck away from him. So, that's just my take on the whole question. Is he manufactured? In ways, yes. In other ways, no. That's just all I got to put a tribute to it. I'm out.